And Dan, thanks for joining us this morning. And tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Oh, hi, Curtis. Thanks for having me, first of all. Um, well, we've got a haunted mine adventure going on this weekend. We already had one weekend of it. And it literally is a haunted house built into the theater of our school building. Uh, but it's not just the haunted house where people come out and scare you. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole storyline to it special effects that you would see in a theme park and uh it lasts about 35 40 minutes per per uh, adventure wow so really sounds exciting. sounds fairly creepy which i guess is the whole point of this right but it's a fun creepy this is a family deal right oh yeah of course uh it's scary but more in a suspenseful way than necessarily a jump out and grab your way gotcha tell us a little about the story because there is a theme that goes with this Yes, that's absolutely right. I've got some uh, some of my students here who would uh, love to tell you a little bit more about okay. the story. That's so, fantastic. Again, I'm going to turn to you first, and if you can kind of give us a setup of, of the background. So basically, it takes place in this mining town. I'll go back to say, it takes place in this mining town where um, all these people go to work to mine, and there's this um, accident where this man named Earl Weaver Jr. gets buried in in, in like a rock avalanche in the mine and they have to get them out but they're spirits and it's all very spooky yeah it sounds very spooky what's your part in this what do you do um i play the night overseer jesse depending on the night and i'll also be in the mining camp gotcha and so what makes this different from some of the ones that you've been to in the past because this is this is quite kind of a real different uh way to do it right yeah, uh, this is Dan again, and uh, it, what makes it different is that the people are following a storyline instead of just going through different scary rooms. Um, as Ian mentioned, there's a background where there's this mine, people have died mysteriously, there's been talks of ghosts and of spirits, and then they, uh, then they actually get to go in the mine so the, the, the people are, are follow the, the, the boss of the mine into the mine. There's an elevator shaft that they have to go down. Then they're in the mine itself. Uh, and the people get to experience uh, just exactly what the miners are experiencing. Gotcha. And, there, and there's a story being told by the actors here. It's interactive, right? Yes, absolutely. I've got Frankie Cooper. She's actually, she plays Flagler, who is the mine boss. Okay. Frankie, tell us a little bit about uh, what's your part. I don't know if you can give us a sample or not, but what uh, what are you doing when people come there? Um, yeah, so they go through a few other scenes before they kind of getting the backstory of what's going on at the mines. And then they arrive at our scene where I play Flagler, the woman boss of the, <laughs> of the mine. And she leads some her assistant and one of the supervisors into the mine and some spooky things happen in there and she kind of has to interrogate them a little because she doesn't want this getting out to other people ah so what was the reaction the first weekend what was the rea um, what was the reaction like the first weekend with people coming through so this is uh danny here talking yeah hi danny uh, it was actually very positive so people seem to really enjoy it we actually had a few people have to leave uh with their kids because the kids got a little too scared which is precisely what we want and <laughs> so wait i want to clarify we don't want them to leave we want them to go all the way through yeah sorry should have clarified that that's okay that's okay uh, and so it's it's really just a lot of fun to be able to hear people I guess react to what we're saying, maybe like a gasp or just like a kid, yeah, to the special effects, maybe like a um, kid saying like, that was really scary, mommy. So like the Right. Yeah. Well, what grade are you in? I am in the last room. I play one of the miners who is um, talking to the other miners. And I guess there is a, we're just talking about recent events that have occurred and we, um, we, we, we're trying to figure out what to do exactly. Gotcha. Danny Buharb, uh, Frank E. Cooper, and Ian Kirkpatrick, the students there. And uh, let's get uh, Dan back on the phone, Dan Scroban.
theater director. And Dan, uh, you've got uh, different actors from different grades there. Who's participating? What 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 age range here? It ranges actually from middle school all the way up through high school. There are so many different parts and there's so many different times that we're performing this uh, production that we actually recruited some of the middle school kids. We've got all, everybody from seventh grade through 12th grade in this, in this production. That's great. And you told, you, uh, told me that um, uh, the, the, this is different than the typical musical or play you put on, obviously in just the way it's set up and the theme and all that, but also in the production elements. Talk about that for a second. Yeah, well, it's uh, it, it was pro it was professionally produced by A and L Entertainment. Uh, Brett, who's the president at A and L, and I uh, met up uh, over the summer, late summer, because he had actually planned to take this to a couple different schools. Those other schools were unable to uh, accommodate him, and so we were put in touch by a mutual friend. And he, uh, ran, you know, did his spiel for me and was able to convince me, hey, this is something that nobody has seen before. So we're actually the world premiere. Uh, they're professionally made sets. Brett has experience on Broadway and, and, and with touring companies all over the country, uh, as do his associates. So it's professionally put together. Uh, it's not your typical high school uh, set. In fact, uh, we have nine different rooms that were built and each of them uh, each of them have a certain special effect that goes along with them that we wouldn't normally be able to do just by ourselves as mm -hmm. a high school. How fun. Olentangy Liberty High School, it's happening for the rest of this weekend. Tell us about the specific times and how the people can get tickets and where to go. Absolutely. Um, well, if they want to go to our website, or our uh, online box office, it's show ticks, T I X for the number for you.com and they can do a search they can do a search for liberty high school uh it'll show up as the haunted mind adventure our times are thursday i take that back actually our times this week are friday saturday and sunday friday is from um, uh, 7 p.m until 11 p.m saturday is from 3 p.m until 11 p.m sunday is from 3 until 7 and then we're actually putting the show on one more day on Monday from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. And uh, each, uh, each adventure starts every 30 minutes, uh, costs us $15 per person. And like I said, they can get those uh, tickets at showticksforyou.com, uh, keyword liberty. All right, great. Let's mention the students again, Ian Kirkpatrick, Frankie Cooper, and Danny Buarb with us. A lot more involved with that. And uh, Dan Scrovin the theater director for Olentangy Liberty. Uh, thanks so much, Dan. This is uh, very exciting, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people to do. Well, I appreciate you having us on, Curtis, and I appreciate you giving us a little bit of sponsorship for the whole, for the whole thing. Indeed. Thank you very much. Super Q 93.7.